chasses la chatte, parce que tu es un chien. Pourquoi est-ce que je me sens comme ça, ma femme est tellement amusante parce que j'aime sa chatte. Tout le temps, le chien en moi aboie waouh wow, wow. Tu chasses le chat, le chien en moi, vous savez quoi Quelqu'un peut-il m'aider Coupé à la chasse il est temps de commencer. C'est un boussicot. Eh bien, le chien aura sa journée. C'est un boussicot. The French Knight Boussicot. We can imagine him at Nicopolis in service of the Byzantine Emperor, standing on the walls. A story of good against evil, and the return of a king of light. Phantoms of emperors, cloud-capped towers and bloodied fields of horrendous carnage. L'avenir, c'est notre passé. Sid nomen domini benedictum. Le Graal, je l'ai vu. Our mythology has to mean something. It has to influence every facet of our lives. I cannot stand the idea that my physical training only references my physicality. It has to be more than that. A full path. Otherwise God wouldn't have made France the first daughter of the church in all her brutality. The Grail Quest. It can be honest and bloody and dark, or it can be childish and innocent. The result is the same. There's an attraction to the chivalrous, the medieval, now more than ever. Men find themselves yearning for putting on steel plate and smashing each other, but for a higher cause, a higher meaning. The guardians of Plato's Republic become the definition of chivalry, a good death, honour, a sense of something higher, a meaning carved out by participation. Some knights fall and fail, others persevere. The outcome is the same. The medieval French Marshal Boussicot had a training system that I follow, adapted to modern considerations and techniques. Jumping onto his horse in armour, or calisthenics in armour. I like to do these nice and simple, a bodyweight exercise, nothing fancy, with my flak vest on, plates in. Here I'm doing 10 minutes maximum reps, aiming for more than 100 in that time. Running and marching for long efforts with weight. Obviously, running with resistance has to be carefully checked against the risk reward. But tabbing, yomping, hiking, etc. I often put a bit of chain mail or a dumbbell plate into my pack when walking with the family. Obviously, sprints are the best for intimate and inclusion inside a workout, or high knees if you're in the gym. Striking or swinging the hammer or other weapons. As I've shown in another video focusing on forearms, put a ripped tire up on my dipped bar and then strike with a homemade training sword. Mixing between heavy strikes, two-handed, one-handed, different stances, advancing to and retreating from the pad, etc. The same as when doing boxing or wrestling drills. Sledgehammer strikes on a tyre, I use a heavy one outdoors, sets of 100 as part of a bigger workout. Busico would do somersaults in his armour. So gymnastics variations in armour. I'm a lump and have the gymnastic skill of a boar, so I do what I can until I'm dry heaving. That is always enough. Break falls, wrestling drills, forward rolls, etc. Weapon drills in armour, hammer, sword, etc. Same as the hammer focus drills, but honing in on a general lack of skill. The difference between having the power behind a punch versus the skill to land it in the right place. 
I always pre-exhaust with something that wears the arms out, explosive throws, all the junk in the junkyard, heavy tyre flips, cement handle swings, farmer walks, burn out the grip. Then go to the hammer swings, concentrate on stance, targeting, etc. Same idea behind the workout, different day. Busico would climb between two walls in his armour and climb on the underside of a ladder, remove his armour at the top, put it back on whilst hanging. A modern version, obviously we can do monkey bars in armour, remove, hang there etc. Monkey bars in armour again. One thing I am good at for my size, gymnastic rings, wearing my flat vest with plates in, skin the cat, hung upside down, invert, reverse and repeat, leg raise, static hold, dead hang for time etc. The bulk of the Busico method has to be focused in the lifting, carrying, moving with weight. Busico used stones and other heavy objects, so I interpret this as power building and strongman across a variation of stimuli. Stone lifting in nature, obviously one of the most addicting sports there is. Son, you know, once you start, there's no going back. This means total commitment. Once you begin the path, there is no leaving the path. Press the stone, throw the stone. Obviously helps if you're wearing chainmail and in the shadow of a ruined castle on a cliff where your ancestors used to live. Scotland is, after all, just one big gymnasium if you do stone lifting. In terms of gym stuff, I keep things simple. Big, ugly, mass building compound movements for idiotic reps. Old school strong mount, build up a collection in the garage. Rack pulls, shrugs, hack squat, deadlifts, high pulls, rows. <laughs>
drenched mud and brick walls to harden his fists and hands. You can transfer this easily onto something like the Kung Fu methods they use to toughen the fists. Hot rice, hot sand, etc. I tag all of my forearm training onto these sections using the PVC tube and rope. Or actually punching mud outside. You can dig a little hole punching the soil. Wrestling drills or any combat sport, especially those most relevant to modern warfare, which should avoid ending up on the ground with an opponent. Banded pummeling, all the Russian and Eastern European wrestling drills. Include all of this inside a bigger workout, tire flips, stone carries, mix and match. Work on explosive movement from the floor to the floor, triple extension, lots of hips, lots of legs, core. Obviously Boosie Code didn't lead by example in the physical side, his philosophical and spiritual side was clear. He founded a chivalric order to protect widows and orphans after the catastrophic failure at the Battle of Nicopolis, which they lost to the Ottomans. There were French, Knights Hospitaller, Venetians, Hungarians, Germans from the Rhineland, Bavaria, Saxony, and Knights from Poland, Bohemia, Navarre, Spain, and Scotland. Four pints of bitter there, gorgeous. You stand between me and my lord and kin. There's a pattern which repeats itself. Nobility, femininity, masculinity, a modern world which despises everything on one side and celebrates everything on the other. When it comes down to the nitty gritty, it's always been the same fight. Put it all together and it looks like men remembering their physicality matters in the context of Plato's guardians or the medieval grail knights. I've always included some kind of team sport, rugby or group sparring, boxing clubs, etc. You need to be strong and fit for all those things. Check it out! and philosophical aspect has to be the most important, but the body cannot exist without the mind, 
and the heart, and vice versa. specific segment of these workouts. In the Busico Method book will be out in the next few weeks. <laughs> 